Hi everyone, this is Kiran Kumar. Today we will uh, discuss about uh, NMOS fabrication. So, basic MOS transistors with a doping concentration of transistors is mainly two types of transistors are available. One is the NMOS transistor, the other is the PMOS transistor. So, with their mode of operation further, they are classified into depletion mode transistor and uh, enhancement mode transistor. So, before uh, going to the classification of the MOS transistors like NMOS and PMOS, let us discuss something about what exactly a MOS transistor is. A MOS transistor always consists of a metal oxide and a semiconductor. It is a three terminal device and uh, where it is having it is a voltage controlled current device, voltage controlled current device. Now, as I said that they are mainly two types that is depletion mode transistor and enhancement mode transistor. First, let us discuss about the NMOS enhancement mode uh, transistor. Now, the NMOS devices are formed in a p-type substrate of moderate doping level. The source and drain regions are formed by diffusing the N material impurities through a suitable mask into these areas. Thus, the source and drain are isolated from one another by two diodes and they are connections are made by a deposited metal layer. Now, if you observe the figure below, this is the NMOS transistor which is the enhancement mode in that a N type material is diffused into a P type substrate and they are separated as I said they are separated as two diodes. Now, this P type and this N type is forming one diode again the p type and n type is forming one more diode and they are having a contact which is made with a metal on the top of your source and drain so again when it is coming to the gate below the gate you find a polysilicon as well as an oxide layer that's why it is it is called as metal oxide semiconductor mos transistor so Totally, it has three uh, terminals, one is source, the other is gate and third one is a drain where we are showing it as Vs as a source, Vgs is a gate source voltage and Vd is a drain voltage. Now, the NMOS coming to the NMOS depletion mode transistor. So, for NMOS depletion mode transistor, what is the difference we are having from your enhancement mode transistor to that of your depletion mode transistor is that the channel is already formed between your source and drain in your depletion mode transistor whereas there is no channel in your enhancement mode. So, whenever I apply some positive voltage on the gate of your NMOS enhancement mode transistor then as it is more positive the positive charges will be repelled from the gate and the negative charges will accumulate accumulate near the gate and it forms a channel between the source and drain. Whereas, in your depletion mode as already the channel is existing, so we are not applying any positive voltage, we are making VGS is equals to 0 to establish a channel. So, the basic building uh, the block diagram in NMOS depletion mode transistor is shown below. In depletion mode transistor, the channel is established even when the VGS is 0 by implanting a suitable impurities in the region between source and drain during manufacturing and prior to deposition, the insulation and the gate process. So, as we know that main difference what we have is the channel is generated by applying some voltage in your enhancement mode transistor, whereas it is coming to the uh, depletion mode transistor, the channel is already formed. Uh, uh, when during the manufacturing process it itself. Now, let us see what exactly the NMOS fabrication process is. What is a fabrication? The NMOS fabrication means a step by step procedure how we are manufacturing physically the NMOS transistor. Here, we are going to see the NMOS enhancement mode transistor fabrication. So, for that, what I am doing is to start up with this one with a silicon substrate of high impurity into which the required p impurities are added to make a p type impurity or p type substrate. So, I am taking a pure silicon into which I am adding p type impurities to make it into a p type substrate as p 
P-type impurities is lightly doped. Why? Because if it is heavily doped, again it will become a uh, more positive. So, lightly doped by adding some P-type material to a silicon substrate. Now, as we have added the P-type material, the surface to get uh, when it is exposed to the air as we have added some p-type impurities it should not get uh, oxidized. So, to protect the surface and act as a barrier to do dopant during the process and provide a general insulation substrate onto which other layers may be deposited and patterned. So, as we have already said that p-type impurities are lightly doped into the p silicon substrate. So, to stop avoiding this undergoing oxidation, we are laying generally a thick uh, SiO2 of 1 micrometer thickness on the surface of your silicon uh, substrate. The surface is now covered with a photoresist which is deposited onto the wafer and spun to achieve a even distribution of the requirement. Why we need to go for a photoresist means to have a required design and to remove the unwanted material I am using a photoresist and this photoresist will protect the surface of your substrate. Now, as we require only this particular area, we are covering this substrate with a particular suitable mass and we are passing the UV rays such that where the UV rays directly hit the surface that surface will become hard and where it is covered with the mass that surface will be smooth and these areas are subsequently readily etched away uh, together with the underlying silicon dioxide so that the wafer surface is exposed to the window defined by the mask. So, as we have used the mask in that particular area I am removing the photoresist as well as your SiO2 layer. Now, to make it an window section I am removing the unwanted photoresist material also. Now, again a 0.5 mm um, thin SiO2 to make an even surface, we are depositing on the surface. Then, we are using a polysilicon of 1 to 2 micrometers on the surface of your NMOS fabric, uh, NMOS transistor. Then, again we are using a photoresist material to expose the area to the, uh, to expose the surface to the UV rays. Now, I require only this particular area, remaining thing I have mass so that I can etch out easily. So, whichever the area it is directly hit by UV rays that will become hard and <coughs> remaining thing I have removed. Now, I have oxide, polysilicon and this I do not require. What is this? This is a photoresist. So, I am removing the photoresist. Now, I am showing the gate with a silicon dioxide and a polysilicon and I have two window structures where I can diffuse my n-type material. Now, see here I have induced the n-type uh, type material into the p-type substrate to form the source and drain. Now, source, gate and drain are ready to have a connection. We are going to grow one more layer of your SiO2 to make the surface even and a photoresistor. Once this photoresist again if you observe I am making the terminals I am using the UV rays. Now, I have cut and open this particular windows 1, 2, 3 and here I am moving the further photoresist material and adding the metal such that it should have some contact with the end type diffusion and uh, to have a contact with the gate. Now, photoresist material removing the unwanted material I have a source drain and a source gate and drain which are formed having a metal contacts. So, this is how I have um, total uh, fabrication process of your NMOS enhancement mode. Thank you for more watching uh, for more videos subscribe to our channel. If you like this video please share with your friends. Thank you once again.